I'm told that Inspiring Philosophy responded to the video in which I challenged the parsimony of explaining the narrative of Christ's resurrection by supposing that a god done it. Since we haven't really established that a god exists, but we have a pretty good reason to believe that liars exist and delusional people exist, the supposition that the resurrection narrative is simply a lie or a delusion is more likely to be true than the supposition that it was the accurate description of the intervention of a god. IP's original response was that it doesn't matter that we haven't established god to exist because we haven't established quarks to exist, but we still infer them from their effects. My response to that was that we still assume that quarks are matter, not something supernatural or magical like a god, so inferring their existence is not really comparable. I'm told that IP's response to that was that quarks are not matter, they are postulated entities that make up matter. So they are not matter, but something other that would be a component of matter. Harvard physicist Helen Quinn disagrees. She says, quarks are matter, anti-quarks are antimatter. Michael Munovitz's book, published and peer-reviewed by Oxford University Press, says fermions, electrons, neutrinos, quarks, are matter. Bosons, photons, WZ, gluons, are force. Nowhere could I find anything that says that quarks are something other than matter or energy. IP figures that since quarks are the components of matter, they cannot be matter themselves. He seems to think that when scientists say that matter is made out of quarks, they mean it in the same sense as when they say that water is made out of hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen. They only form water when they combine into H2O, and I guess IP thinks that quarks don't count as matter, only groups of quarks like protons and neutrons count as matter. This is false. What physicists actually mean when they say that matter is made of quarks is that quarks, along with other elementary particles, are some of the smallest indivisible examples of matter. Other indivisible units of matter are leptons, like electrons. Does IP think that electrons aren't matter either? IP actually seemed to think that it was funny that I believed that quarks are matter. I find that to be funny. 